going on YouTube? Sunday. We're gonna go make that money. The wheels ain't rolling, ain't making money. And that is the truth right there. That's the gospel truth right there. I'm gonna go make. Well, hey, I'm on my way to uh, the Queenie, uh, the Queenie, Texas, uh, south of Austin. I think it's next to uh, San Antonio. Wanna go to San Antonio to make that money? Wash my truck, but I got paper on board. Okay, let's see. I got another two minutes to go, so I can show my twelve out uh, my inspection. Two minutes to go. Woody hoo! Home. Messaging. Menu. Trip. George Pacific Star Trip. Okay, it's gonna be a good little ride, guys. It's gonna be a ride. Proceed to the highlighted route. 588 miles, arrive at 9.08 tonight. Probably around about 10 o'clock tonight. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, let's see. Show one more minute to go. Do my walk around. I just. Okay, here we go. Time to okay, clock out of this. Home. Messaging. You have seven hours and forty-five minutes of remaining drive time. Okay, Lawrence Nicholson, okay. Home. Messaging. You gotta go on your quail com, Omnicom and show uh uh inspection done. Send that on. Home. Yes. Messaging. Those of you who uh, watch the videos in different parts of the world, welcome. The ones that are local, welcome. Appreciate you watching. And we on Central Standard Time in Arkansas, North Little Rock, Arkansas. That is Central Arkansas. The temperature is 40, 51 degrees Fahrenheit. And it's about 1, uh, 1 a.m. We're going to start this trip.
so y'all can watch it video on the road coming out of Maverick. Hey, it's Monday morning. Uh, I think I got about so far I got to go. I don't have too far to go. Messaging. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a nice morning. Hope you hope you had a wonderful weekend. And what else going on? Here we go. Georgia Pacific Star Trip. Boom, y'all. Oh yeah. Proceed to the highlighted route. I got 53 miles to go, so uh, supposed to be there at 10 o'clock. I might be a few minutes late. It might be around about five or 10 minutes late. Maverick wants you to de deliver your freight on before 10 o'clock by 10 o'clock on Mondays. I guess that's to make you get out of the bed, uh, so you you know so you can uh, go and get your week started. And so, cause everybody everybody hates sleeping on the weekends. Okay. Home. Messaging. You okay. are out of hours of service driving time. I get there around about 10 o'clock. Show you this load I have. This paper, uh, I got paper that they use on uh, sheetrock, aka um, Gibson board. Uh, so I'm going to turn this around show it to you. I have eight rows on here. It takes two uh, lumber tarps to, uh, to do it. When you're putting your tarps on, you always put your back tarp on so you have, so the front one overlays the back one so the water doesn't go under the tarp. And I have put them on backwards when I first started driving. I have put the front one on, just you just you just so tired, you're not thinking. Then you got to pull it back and just make an extra work. But everybody, everybody who we have a tarp before has done that. That's just just a give me. Okay. And the back one, you always put the uh, the flap in first. You put the flap in first, and then you take the out. You take the outsides of it, the corners of it. And put it and pull it over the in, over the uh, over the uh, inside tarp and just hold it together. So got that done. And what else? This is the other side of it. I had a I had a rip in my tarp right at the top. I never I picked this trail off from somebody else and. Um, I had to do a little patching on it up there. You see that? It ain't the best in the world though, but it, it won't get the paper wet. So, this top right here needs a little... If I have time today, and I'm, if they're waiting to give me a trip or something like that, um, I'll make some repairs to it, like little small thing, holes like that. That's what you need to work on, but it's my first time using these tarps, so. Back of it. I'm gonna show you the top of this tarp is when you do this, putting this, when you get this paper, um, this roll of paper, you have to put a safety vest on, and uh, they have like a cable you attach to, cause it can. This roll of paper, so this is how it looks at the top. Okay, guys, I'm 6'4". I'm on my trailer. The trailer's about, what, about five foot off the ground? About four, five foot off the ground. The roll of paper, I'm 6'4". So, six, five, you're gonna be about 11 foot off the top, uh, off the ground. So, if you scared of height, or nervous walking on a real tight, that's what you have to walk on when you're doing it. Or you can crawl however you want to do it with the safety vest on. This may not be a line of work for you. So, I use the whole paper, 
pack roll pack about once or twice a month. So I just want to give you a, a little short what I was hauling, and I'm going to show the unlo uh, unloading. Hey, I got this is my load right here, untarped. Just waiting for them to uh, unload the other truck that was ahead of me.